Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, John Megacycle here. This game, The Corporate Machine, is an absolute classic in my book. This one came on CD, it's a Stardock, oh there we go, Stardock.net. It's a Stardock classic. This game, The Corporate Machine, is fairly straightforward. You pick a type of business you want to run, you pick a product that I guess all the players agree on making and selling, and you try to out-business your business rivals. We're gonna go ahead and get started. There's not a ton of tutorial with this game. I, When I originally bought it, I actually bought it secondhand. This is like two decades ago or something. This, this is an old game. Um, I don't remember the year, to be honest. But I got it secondhand. I didn't even have an instruction manual then, if one ever came with it. <clears throat> but I gave it a run. Game runs fine. You start off the game picking a specialty, or a speciality. You can be a labor type business, where your laborers will be able to produce twice as many goods per employee when compared to non-manufacturer types. You can be a marketer, which your marketers will be twice as productive, which means you'll be able to create marketing campaigns faster and have more of them. Or an engineering specialty. Your engineers will be twice as productive, which means you'll be able to research new technologies much faster. You start off manufacturing early in, earlier in the game before you start up marketing or engineering. So to make it easy, because it's been a, a very, 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 very long time since I played this game. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, but we're going to go with the manufacturing specialty. Um, I've already put in John Megacycle, Megacycle Industries. Ready to rock this thing. Uh, for AI is usually pretty good. Um, for the first time, I'm just going to do beginner. So there's five companies, beginner. Um, changing it changes the difficulty of the AI and more specifically how much they concentrate on you. Um, the, right now, there's only three products and one map. I thought way back when you could download different maps. Was there the internet then? Yeah, obviously, because it's stardock.net. Um, so the internet was in its infancy, I suppose. Um, so Earth, we're going to go with computers for our very first one. Yeah, I remember there was a crap ton of other ones like Soda Pop and a bunch of other stuff. Anyway, I want to do a small explanation before we kick this thing off because I'm going to go in full full murder mode. We're just going to get right to it. Um, well, knowing me, I'm going to do a lot of explaining anyway. <clears throat> we all, all the companies, produce the same kind of computer exactly. It's our responsibility to produce product, match market prices, either undercut our opponents or oversell it. Uh, the price so it's supply and demand also we need to conduct research marketing campaigns try to make a better product than what our enemies are selling and i guess really that's the crux of the game so let's actually just get started um you've taken the helm of megacycle industries you begin with a single sales executive in a single site to win you need to obtain 55 percent of the world's total markets the pie chart in the top right with your color indicates your market share it'll actually show up right where my mouse is bobbing around so it's not here yet you started a company at the dawn of the personal computer age. Your company must compete to make better and better computers. The first personal computers weren't the slick mouse-driven power machines with friendly interfaces and easy expansion that, they, that we have today. In fact, they were unreliable and came as a kit in which the user had to put together. There was no keyboard or mouse, instead you had a set of switches to input data and the results would display on a set of LEDs on the front of the machine. Eh, 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 eh. No monitor. Ding. Your customers are looking for computers that are faster, performance, easier to use, ease of use, it can do more, features, and don't break down reliability. These are the four things aside from price, five, five things aside, no, four things, I was right the first time, that no monitor screwed me up. These are the four, four things that make up your product. Aside from price, this is how someone is going to look at your product and see if it's worth buying or looking to the competitors. So performance, ease of use, features, reliability, okay? Now, while we're in pause mode, because time is not going here, this is a real-time strategy game. The way it works is, well, I guess it's real-time because I don't have to click a turn button, but the way this works is every five seconds, a week passes. So, as you can guess, I believe there's 52 turns in a year. At least I think it's one week. In the upper right, we'll see. It's January 1st, year one. Very simple, our cash. And let's see, what else can I explain? Up here in the upper right are, I don't know what they're called. I think I call them power assets. There's five types of assets, labor, 
uh, money influence, technical influence, research influence, and surveillance influence. Um, I don't really know what they're called. Like I said again, I, I've never really had the, mo uh, the instruction manual, so we're kind of flying in a seat of our butts. Each of these land masses that we see here are territories. Um, we can see we're in Europe. I'm actually in Germany, um, which is cool. So that gets us in the European front. As we click around and we explore, we have to research these territories to sell product in them. That being said, we have to invest to open up the territory and, and start market penetration and such. We'll see these little icons on the territory, and at the end of the year, if we control the territory, we'll get a, I don't know, an influence card or a power card or whatever. In the lower left here is where we use them. These are two other abilities we can use that spend those power cards or, or whatever. I'm sure we'll get the name of it eventually, but that's okay. Um, down at the bottom, the world view, our office and our HQ view, our labor view. There's two other views here that we have not gotten to yet. And then of course, how everyone's doing and a bit more of a breakdown. There's a bunch of icons here that we'll see in a second. I want to get all the explaining out of the way before we kick this thing off. Um, there's a bunch of icons here that allow you to see the main map differently. Maybe that'll influence your choices on what you do, but maybe not. Uh, mini map here, description over here. I think that's about it. Let's get started. We'll start off with a headquarters and a sales agent. Headquarters, we're in Germany. This is our manufacturer and research facility and a sales agent. We first of all start researching other places. The United Kingdom, $100,000, three weeks. We're researching so we can start selling products there. Let's go right to our base. We've got a garage where we'll actually produce product. And we're gonna go right to labor. Production and demand, we need to really figure out here. Is there, okay, the only pause button I could do is escape. Just in that quick couple of seconds here, it's already February 19th, it's year one, so the game does move pretty quick. This is a breakdown of the five things, four things, and prestige. That's our company's prestige. This is rated against other businesses. If our competitors go ahead and research stuff and increase the reliability of their machines, our reliability goes down. So if we don't do any research at all, this is not going to be the grade of our product for very much longer. The actual product, computers, is broken down by a cost, price, supply, demand, and inventory right here, which you can't see. We can configure the price on the fly, we can change our inventories on the fly, and that breaks down to how much we're making, how much stuff costs, that sort of a thing. Okay? So, I hired way too many people, producing 5, demanding 8, inventory 28, that's good, that'll sell off some of our inventory, here's our price. Here's our breakdown. We're making very little money to get started, but that's okay. You'll notice that these territories were green before, now they're red, because we are the majority seller in these territories. And now we're not meeting demand, okay? So we gotta go hire some more peeps. Let's double our labor force. That'll get us to eight and 10. 10 and 11, that's okay. Stocking up a little bit isn't a bad thing. We're gonna keep doing research and we're gonna keep moving on. Now, left click on your sales exec, I already did that. So, our sales executive, if we click on him, we'll have a quick breakdown of our product and how much we're selling it for. If we find another sales associate, we can click on them, even if it's not ours, and we can see what our opponents are up to. As we click on the territories, we can see how much we're selling and how much we're meeting demand. The answer is, we're not meeting demand at all. We're negs, ne oh gosh, we're negative a bunch. We can compensate with this one of two ways. I'm gonna pause. When there's a supply and demand difference, if there's much more demand than there is supply, in this case, we can do one of two things. We can either ramp up our production to meet demand by increasing the supply, or we can uh, jack up the price to reduce the demand. So as the game is starting, I kind of want to get the market a little more with the Megacycle product. So 30 workers, that's producing 1521. Let's also jump up the price a little bit. Let's do a little bit of both here. That should reduce demand slightly, or not at all. Awesome. Let's put this to 35. It's a little touch-go when you get started. We want there to always be just a little bit more demand than we're producing. Scandy, how you doing? My goodness, this music is so loud. All right, I'll tweak that in editing, no big deal. 
Now, our sales our sales uh, executive over here, where he is close to, he will sell more product. If I move him, even though we're selling six computers in Germany, if I move him away, we'll sell a lot less. There'll be a much less of a demand. So it's important we keep that in check. How are we doing here? Yeah, to get your actual money machine going, it's a little touch-go in the beginning. And we're playing on beginner for the main reason it's been a very long time since I've played. Now, we don't have to keep growing like this. It's not risk. We could just jump in the middle, like right here, research this, and our guy can fly over. That's no biggie. So don't worry about that limitation. Yeah, so we started the game with 5 mil. It's 6 million for a lab. It's, uh, what else? It's 10 million for a company store. It's 2 million for a cafe. There's a lot of stuff that's going to cost a lot of money. So I'm not really hurting to get into research right away. Let's go through the buildings real quick on our base. Can I pause? Awesome. Um, I forgot what this is called. Okay, marketing building allows us to create marketing campaigns. We have the garage where we can produce product. Oh, cool, I can click around. The engineering lab allows us to research new tech. The office, which doesn't really tell us anything in the flavor text, it increases your sales. So that's going to be important later on. The big thing we need to pay attention to is maintenance. I can't afford $500,000 a year by a freaking long shot. Um, we've got a cafe, which increases our morale, which is displayed here. We also have a training center to increase the abilities of our employees by 15%. They'll produce faster, they'll research faster, they'll create marketing campaigns faster. You get the idea. Um, an intelligence building. All the intelligence building does is give us more graphs. Like seriously, build an intelligence building, each gives you more grant. It doesn't do anything after that. The thankful thing is it has no maintenance. And my favorite is the company store, which decreases employee expenses by 15% per level. It's actually really handy to have, especially if you have a mega workforce. And that's all I had there. Anyway, in the lower left, you can see a bit of a breakdown of the territory. For Germany, the labor research cost of living recreation and marketing is all bad is to the left in red good is to the right in green what we're going to want to do is we're going to keep this stuff as green as possible so building the cafe to increase the morale will increase the labor and the morale right here the happier our workers are the better they produce pretty simple stuff it also greatly reduces the risk of strikes i believe you'll have to bear with me i'm going a lot off of memory here uh, however, this early in the game, I don't find it very helpful to spend a ton of money uh, on structures. Let's research that. Let's go ahead and jank this up completely. And something just happened, I don't know what. I just added a bunch more workers. Did the production not jump? It did not jump, so 8,000. 8,250. That's better. Okay, what happened? Nigeria, Coca-Cola's employees are cheered up by happy mutated monkeys from the local forest who, who... Who and sing for them? I'm sure who dance and sing for them. Whatever. Morale increases while the monkeys bide their time. <laughs> yeah, alright. That's creepy. Okay, good. Oh, we found a competitor. Mac McDonald's. Oh, that's super clever. Um, let's grab a little bit more territory. Morale is looking a little shoddy. How are we doing here? We're doing okay. Um, we need to really emphasize on production and getting some stuff cleaned up before we really start working into research. Um, let's see, that's three million. Um, I don't know, that maintenance of one million kind of scares me. That's far more reasonable. Let's upgrade that. Now we've got a lot of territory, just not a lot of demand. So what we're going to do is we're going to ramp up our manufacturer and I'm going to drop the price. Oh, look at that. That demand is just skyrocketing, which is good. But the problem is since we're not meeting demand, we're not doing any market penetration. This is a good tactic if we need, if we're just stuck in an area and we can't expand. If we make ourselves like a premier product, see our prestige is pretty high. It means we're doing a better job of this. We started with like C minus, I think. But I want market penetration. I want Megacycle product all over the place. Like, I want Megacycle er, industries all over the place. So I just janked up production hella. I just dropped price like crazy. 
That's better. Hold on. There. Good. We're losing a little bit of stock, which is fine by me. Got that balanced out. Now, we should be seeing more red. I'm hoping some of these other territories will start popping red for us. Now that we've got a product that we're actually supplying the demand of the locals. The bigger thing about it is... If we make our product too expensive just to meet the demand and supply, again, we're not meeting market penetration. That's a really big problem. But, of course, it all depends on the situation. Let's go over our cards real quick. Ties the bind. Guarding support from all aspects of society. The target region standardizes on your product for one century? Making them ten times as desirable? Yeah, but look at all the cards it takes. Holy buckets. We're hanging on to that. Advanced market studies. Target... Region is research each media center to control. Allows an additional radius of regions to be researched. I'm going to hang on to that. That's awesome. Funky magic. Have someone, not you, do things that will dramatically lower the cost of living in a target region. That might be awesome considering... Well, cost of living is okay here. One of the things that stinks is if we want to uh, branch out, let's say Kazakhstan. If um, There's a button here for analyze region. It gives you some information. But the thing is, it doesn't tell you anything if you want to actually... Oh, I take that back. I should actually click through these buttons one of these days. We want something with a good cost of living, good labor, good research all around. <clears throat> Excuse me. That gives us an idea. Let's click through these real quick. Uh, market leader. Uh, market penetration. Sales potential. Uh, relative market share, no idea. Does it change where I click? Yeah. What is this? Um, dollar spent, whatever. Regional desires. Uh, and then labor. Okay. Every year we'll get this status report. This says our gross income, our market share, market share needed to win. This will adjust depending on how many players are still in the game. Uh, we got a new sales executive. We didn't control... Oh, resource centers. Okay, that's what they're called. Uh, and resource points. All right, let's take all the stuff I said back. We didn't control any resource centers. I haven't seen any yet. We gained no resource points, but we did get another sales executive. I'm going to take you and I'm going to put you over here. Again, that's going to branch out our market penetration and such. This is a resource point right here. If someone controls that at the end of the year, they get a resource point, which they can spend on these things. Advanced market studies. Oh, I got another one. Cool. Um, I'm definitely going to want some market research facilities. Oh, holy craps. Okay, so until I can get the production ramped up, we're going to crank up the price by bajillions. Did that? Holy crap, that was it? Oh, whoops, whoops, I need another zero. Whew, okay, way too much. Uh, way too little. Holy buckets. Is that about better? Ah, dang it. I keep forgetting that last zero. Nope. That's better. Okay, cool. What what was the yoink? Microsoft has gone bankrupt. What a loser. Wow, that was, that was quick. How are we doing on the grand scheme? Uh, I spent a bunch of money doing something. Oh, probably buying the cafe. But we shot right back up. Now we're sitting on 6 mil. We're not going to get the research facility right away because we have to hire people and that gets hella expense. Uh, hey, I wasn't done with this. Oh, 7 million. Wow. IDM just dumped a bunch of crud in their backyard in Utst Orda. Cutting their storage costs in half. Well, awesome. Uh, continue. Okay, so now I've got 7 million. Upgrade. Now, we can build and add other facilities. If I click on the crane over here, I'm selecting on Germany. We already have a site, which is 5 mil. We can build the distribution center, which increases our agents... Ad adjunct I don't know how to pronounce that. Our... <laughs> ad agency... Whatever. The stuff that we're next to. <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, increases bonus for the market leader. We could turn this into an economic center, which increases the wealth and economy of the region. That's going to be important if we find a region that's very wealthy, that really wants our, or that even even not wealthy, but we want to really push a lot of product to. So with this factory upgraded, we are going to jump up the the 
Bam. There's that. This is now... 7,500. How does that sound? Uh, that's still too cheap. Better? That's way better. Okay, so... Let's try that. Yep, I'm fine with that. How are we looking now? Yep, we just took we just took a heck of a jump. Because now we're really penetrating the market with a lot of our product, which is excellent. We don't have to go very far to make a lot of money. This isn't risk. It's not all about territory. It's all about how you're using your resources. I always like to keep a sales executive right on my HQ. I'm sort of 5 mil. The morale's not super. Um, let's see. Training is important because we'll get more bang for the buck out of our workers. Oh, cool. Another sales executive. Awesome. Uh, nope. Let's upgrade the cafe. Holy... What is happening? Is everyone going bankrupt? Seriously, my prestige is just through the frick roof. Oh, God. Um... I did that the wrong way, didn't I? Okay, good. Good. We're looking alright. Um, this is building the cafe. Very good. What can I you. Do for you boss? That's a There's a lot of resource points around here. I want to start hey, snacking up. Uh, we really need to ramp up our production again, believe it or not. Um, I would like to start working on research, but research is a very expensive proposition. Let's see, where can I set up a new base of ops? Labor is good here. Recreation is really good. I think maybe right there, if I'm honest. IDM gets government to give them a $2 million grant for its new product. Well, lucky your butts. Coca-Cola performs an advanced market study. Well... Or cola cola. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Um, what was this again? Nope. Uh, this. Yeah, I like that territory quite a bit, actually. Cola cola dumped toxic waste in near this neighborhood. The balding children were dead giveaway, said a sorcerer at McDonald's. <laughs> cola cola and McDonald's. How many advanced market studies do I need? No, discard. I don't need that many. Uh, you can discard cards. You can only hold so many. I don't remember what that so many was. Western China. Go, go, go. Okay, let's take a look at our labor. Producing a little more isn't a bad thing. Let's turn this to that. Okay, I'm cool with that. Now, I think we have enough money. Our morale's going up. Uh, let's go ahead and get an engineering lab. I want to get some engineering started. Now, like I said, let's click on us. B's all around and A for prestige, 8750. Let's check on one of these other guys. B's all around and an A, 57. Our product is the exact same, but our prestige is very high, which is why people are also willing to buy our product. But it's going to be very difficult to penetrate this area unless we can really rank up our production or we can make people convinced that we're selling a better product. We could do that through marketing and slander, or we could do research and actually make it so. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep spreading, baby. Uh, once the lab is done, cool, our morale's looking pretty good. Um, this, this cash is gonna give me enough for, uh, we could do 10 scientists and the research lab. How are we doing on this? Cool. 0.4 million a week. Okay, so is it a week? Yes, it is a week. And it looks like they made it really simple and just did four weeks a month. So that's actually 48 turns, not 52. Okay, demand dropped. Another sales executive. Awesome. With that sales exec... That's a great idea. Oh, what's this? Deal with the Devil. When played, there's an 80% chance you'll get a free draw and this card stays in your hand. Otherwise, this card disappears along with all your resources and all your cards. I only have two resources. So, sure. Signed dotted line. Mexico Industries closes a deal netting it a direct action card. Okay, what did I get? Dude, I don't need more of those. 
Submitting to economic forces beyond its control, Mexico Industries lose all its cards and all its resources. Uh, you didn't take all the cards, but you did take my two resources. Boo hoo. You can actually, there's a couple cards that do some pretty awesome things. You can trade them directly in for cash. You can screw up an opponent pretty sweet. It, it's really cool what you can do with some of that stuff. I will want 15% boost now that we have a bunch of workers. And actually, talking about salaries, I almost wouldn't mind building the company store as well. But let's let's get the training center online first. Hello? Game freeze? What's happening? Did they hit a pause button? What's going on here? Oh! Oh, space pause the game. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that. <laughs> Learn something new every, uh, whatever. There's that. There's this. Now, we get a new research tab. The research tab is broken down into the item, computers, small description, whatever technology we're working on, and what it's doing to what we've got. It's very hierarchy based. So here's an example. The 4040 is a CPU. And when we research it, we'll get another one opened up to us, but we won't know what it is until we start researching it. I believe the 4040 opens up the 8080. So what I do is I click through and I find something with a very low duration. We only have very few workers. So something that's like 60 weeks or 70 weeks is a good choice. Is that the VLSI? No. 10 micron? No. Where was it? A simplified kit. The first personal computers were actually complex kits that required a lot of assembly. With this technology, the kit becomes easier, will include the directions. It increases ease of use by 42%. When this gets boosted, our systems are easier to use. Our computer kits are easier to use than the opponents. Their ease of use will drop. That's just one research for fine. McDonald's gives the blah, 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 blah. Now everyone thinks their company is hit stuff. You can tell this was written in like the 90s or something. I say that. Brilliant. Companies hit stuff. Uh, keeping up with demand mostly, that's good. Uh, we have our training facility, now I want our company store. We're going to do a little bit more expansion here, but I will want another facility. Because I do want to... Dump toxic waste in the neighborhood, balding children, how coca... Okay, there's only so much room there. I'm amazed that uh, Scandinavia has not wanted any of our products. Is there enough wealth? Good wealth, just not a good economy? Is it more the better? I'm selling way more stuff over here, so... Economy's important, clearly. Ooh, yellow's really getting into it. They're producing far more than we are. Let's see about their product. Bees all around. Thousands less. So the thing is, as we're expanding, we also need to keep very much in line of how much product we have to sell if people want our product. So this is where we might want to slow down our expansion. I want you over here. I need a little more coverage here. Um, let's see, can we upgrade the factory? That's going to be very expensive. So maybe it's best if we start considering building another facility. Um, let's see here, how did this work? Pakistan, not a bad choice. I don't care if it's right next door, if I'm honest. I just want good labor and good research. I like Saudi Arabia better. Uh, yay, another sales exec. We are going to build new site. You're brilliant. I'd like You're you to sit brilliant. right there. We're going to try to box out McDonald's. Hey, awesome. Site completed. So in here, it's just like we have a whole nother base. We're going to build a garage. We're going to build a cafe. We're going to get everything all fired up. What do I need for the next level of labs? 12 mil? How much am I making? A uh, good amount. Uh, let's see, what's next? Again, we're looking for small weeks here. How about the 4040? Yeah, this is just to open up new tech. This doesn't really improve the systems at all. Uh, keyboard is 88 weeks. Ease of use by 66%. That's not bad. Let's add that. You can queue up to four. Cola Cola, government, two million dollars. Hi. 
crank. Upgrade that, because morale sucks. Now we can drop our price. Let's see what that does. Good. As we drop, drop our price, we become more competitive. Now see again, B's all around in an A. B's all around in an A. We're about to finish Simplified Computer, or Keyboard? Oh, Simplified Kit. When that's finished, uh, what are we, ease of use by 42%. So we'll see ease of use jump here. Maybe A minus. Yeah, there we go. A minus. When we go here, it's also represented. And then if I click on this guy, his ease of use went down. So it went from a B to C minus because our product is better and it's all Great relative. Choice. So by staying ahead of the research game, we can actually make ourselves a better product and make our opponents look worse. By not doing slander or negative marketing ads or anything, we can actually become a competitive uh, competitive edge. Or get a competitive edge? I will want that. I will want to hang on to those. Um, okay, so what's next? Labs. That's the future right there. Now that we broke the labs, it's really time to get stuff going on. Building a cafe, and then I want to upgrade manufacture again. So you can really slice it a couple of ways here. You can either come in with a very cheap, very crappy product because you didn't do research to get market penetration, or do the research, make an expensive product that you don't produce a lot of, or come in the middle. I mean, I like this game because there's a couple of different ways to attack it. And you really gotta be, you know, paying attention here. You just get sideswiped. Cool, we're at half a mil. Half a million a week, that's pretty solid. We'll get more manufacture, we're getting more labs. This is how we're ramping up. Um, after we get the enhanced garage, I do want to jump this up. I want the morale a lot higher. Factory it is slowly increasing, but that's something I just... Oh, two million a year. Let's, let's wait a little bit. Um, let's get our basic training. That's more important. And then we'll do the discount. The store. Okay, we just jumped up production. Let's drop our price again. 7950 that's pretty good. I usually like to wait one or two weeks if there's any more shifting. Uh, let's do 80 50. Pause the game. To attract another sales exec, we need to grow 70 mil. Alright, so this is something I mentioned before. Remember it said 55% market share needed? We lost a player, so now it needs to be 60. We're at 34.3%. Uh, I don't know if that's a majority, but that's pretty good. I thought I paused. Um, we're keeping up with Cola Cola. That's good. We need to start to scout and see where they are, see if we can steal some of their market. But McDonald's is kind of all up in my business. Oh, wow. Hella in my business. So we're not going to do too much of that. What is this? Media tip off. Prompt the media to investigate competitors' illegal doings. If illegal doings are occurring at the competitor site, they are halted. Okay. I don't. I haven't been paying that much attention, to be honest. Um, that's cranked. That's good. Research, keyboard. What is next? It's simple. I, I need stuff rated in like dozens of weeks, not years. Ah, cool. Mid recording, my cat's puking. Um, I'm gonna take a break right here to handle that. I'll see you guys. Hang on, can I pause? Game, game is paused. All right, I'll be back. See you guys in a few. <laughs> <laughs> 